Hello, everyone. Welcome back. I was listening back, and I am really frustrated that you can hear just my microphone, like, pick up every little thing. So, I apologize. Um, there are filters on my mic, and I'm recording this through Streamlabs, but apparently... Yeah, that's just not working out too great. Um... So, I don't really know what to do. I'm sorry if it bothers you. Hopefully I can fix it, because I even like listened back to my Sky voice trolling Valorant video, and I was like, you can't even hear the accent. The accent sounds way... I don't know. Way better when it's not got such a poor microphone to it. Um, so that's a little bit disappointing, and I apologize, but I'm going to keep recording these because I'm just having too much fun here. Um, so here we have our park. Loaded it back in. Eventually we'll replace this side here with like brick maybe. Um, our people are really enjoying the park so I'm glad for that. I think we're going to put a little building over here. And we still can. We could put a little, uh, like a 3 by 2 building right here. Kind of like this one, but we'll have it with an entrance somewhere over here, maybe. Um, and we don't have anything else, really, that we need to add to this space that would fit in there. Like, I don't think this is a small ride. No, it's not. That's definitely not. We have hopes for that one there. Um... So yeah, so other than those things, I mean, we can start working our way towards, like, this area down here. But I had been talking about, like, figuring out how to get more people into the park, first of all, because we have so much path space. We could really get um, even more people into here. But then also, um, just kind of filling this park out, you know, we want it to make sense to flow and all of that good stuff. I think we have this switched over to Calm Ride, so we are researching that. Um, but yeah, otherwise, let's just see what we can do here. Also, let's make sure we are making a good amount of income. I'm really glad for that. 600 is definitely nothing to scoff at. I feel like that's a pretty good amount, personally. Um, I don't know about making like an industrial type building there. But we will build something like this. This one actually, something we could do is snag up this guy here. Stick those there. Grab our glass, because we do have these. We're gonna bring that to this direction here. Do like that right there. Stop that. Thank you. And we can go up with this, right? Okay, now we have to go like the steep up. Hang on. There we go. Does 
hoping you can build it over like this kind of. Um, I think you can build it here also, right? No. I like it. I like it. Let's grab our metal roof again, too. Go with that guy there. We're gonna go with like a bluish green. More towards the blue. Something like that. This is perfect. All right. Half slope, thank you. Alright, so you can see this is just a little area for people to like walk up onto. Uh, we'll set some pillars down below it. I'm gonna grab this swatch here and we will match our pillars to that kind of color scheme that's happening there. And this way, also, as people head towards like this side of the park, they can um, go underneath of here if it's necessary to try to um, get away from that's what I want the rain or something like that because we still don't have umbrellas which we really might want to figure out how we can research those um, actually oh my gosh I'm so glad they didn't break their legs <laughs> oh my gosh Okay, so I can't, like, really build them down here, can I? Oh, I can. I guess I could if I invisible. Yeah, there you go. That's good. Go like this. Okay. Grab a few trash bins as well for this area here. Stick one actually to the outside of that door. Stick one there. Grab some lamps too. You can stick those in here. One up here, one up here. Sure. And one down there. Does it hide? Oh, that's good. Appreciate that it hides down in there. Not overly fond of the squelching sound as people like walk through this nasty area over here. So let's get somebody else in here as well, kind of cleaning up the space. Good deal. Okay, so I'm alright with actually that sidewalk ending there like that. This just gives people a nice little overhang that they can cross under if they wanted to. So I kind of wish that that actually covered up the, the thing there, but it doesn't. That's unfortunate. Um, which fence can I put up there? I'll put this fence up here. Not, I hope that didn't go down there. I don't think it did. Alright, good deal. Alright, so now we have a couple of cute little card areas for people to enjoy, sit down at. Um, now we can bring our bushes a little further forward as well. Here comes some rain, so people can practice understanding that they can now go hide in this space down here. Which is great. Grab some more of our little flowers here. Stick them on the edge. 
edge, maybe a little bit. That's it. There we go. Perfect. Okay. So it would be really good instead of getting this, which we absolutely do not need a ghost mansion at this point, that we would be getting shops or coasters. Um, but I think if we put down the Enterprise, that will be a high intensity ride that people will appreciate having. Um, so I do want to be able to build an area here. So we're going to make a long street going through this section here. And I think we'll put this maybe like here or something. Okay, so let's double check. We can put that up there at three. We would technically want it to wait for a full ride if it can. Um, we are going to have that checked a little bit more frequently. And we'll do that. Now, you can't hear the music again because I don't want to get copyright claimed here, but... I think a little main street here type of deal is really what I'm thinking of. Or we'll add this as well. So sorry guys, your bench is going to disappear, but it's worth it. We're going to add a little section here. And so this should be a pretty high intensity ride. See, so now we have our high intensity ride. People can come here and enjoy high intensity ride and we are yet again making our way to water which is where I want to be able to put down the bumper boats I think it is right um, but quickly we're just gonna chase this poor lady here and oops there we go all right Okay, so this might not be a long enough queue line. If you have played this game for any amount of time, you probably know that this ride will be very popular. Um, so we will more than likely actually want to build that up a little bit more. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put down some seating in this section here as you walk along the this little space here. We'll give it two in between each. Yes, that should be good. Let's get a little box plant of some kind. I think this one is nice. Let's see what color is that. That's nice, yes. So you can see for sure people are in line here. We can put a little seating area in there so that people can, you know, wait for their friends or whatever are going on this ride to finish up and um, join them again. We gotta make sure we put down enough trash bins as well. And now we have at least two um, of our dudes out there cleaning up for us. Um, but my other rule of thumb is as soon as you have three rides, you're going to hire another mechanic for your next three rides. So we've got our first three rides, and here's our next one. So let's go ahead and hire our next mechanic as well, just to make sure that all of our rides are getting checked on appropriately. We're also going to hire a security officer because, if you remember, we ended up with um, just not a great... <laughs> Um, <laughs> we ended up with some vandals, and they really trashed the park, I'm not going to lie. That was kind of upsetting, so. 
Um, one of the things I've never played with is there is this curb here. And I think, I don't know if it acts like a fence that, like, people can walk over and it just, like, divides that section there. Or, like, how that works exactly. We might look at putting that down. Um... I think for outside of here, we could go with a nice little blue flower. I really wish I could change the color of um, the bush and not just the flowers here. So. But that looks nice, I think. So if this ends up not being a long enough line for this ride, which it looks like it actually is long enough, Okay, so that's at 20 people, and I do believe that ride is actually full, so that's good. Wonderful. That's exactly what we want to see happening. Okay. So for this one, we'll probably, again, think about building something back here behind it, just to frame it against something. Um, I feel like that does make quite a bit of sense to do that with that ride in particular. Oh man, let's see how many people turn away from this ride because it's raining. Oh, nobody yet. Oh, that's surprising. They're brave. They're brave souls to all go on that ride still while it's right raining. Yep, so you can see our merry-go-round got really popular. We would probably benefit from having a little cover over the queue line for that ride. Alright, and plenty of people will go on this ride. I don't know if this counts as a covered ride. I know it has the little things on it, but I don't think it counts, right? Yeah. Even though each seat is individually covered, you go sideways, so you're definitely not covered. <laughs> It looks like a ton of fun, though. Oh, let's change this color. Um, which I actually think framing this with something like, yeah, some white or something, that's nice. Now, is that too much, though? Let's see what we're changing exactly, so... Okay, so that's just part of the frame. Both of these are framing. Now I can't tell the difference between the two colors I've just picked, because um, I have a color blindness, but... Okay, at this angle I can kind of see a difference, at least on this one highlight here. Um, okay. <laughs> Maybe I don't do that. <laughs> Hang on. Let me go for red instead. Okay, I see the difference. Um, yeah, I think a bright red is good. I was gonna go, actually here, let's do like a dark blue-green. Like it's a blueberry or something. And we'll call this not that since we have a cherry berry theme park. We'll call this the um the blueberry blender. <laughs> I think that's a hilarious name. Could we put a farm behind it? I'm just kidding. We'll figure out something interesting to theme that with. Oh boy. I, f I feel like I should name the other ones now that now that I've named that one. I think they'll just come with time. I'm not in a super rush, I feel like. Okay, so we did get another ride, though. The Ghost Mansion ride. Which is not going to fit with our theming right now. But let's see how overall happy our guests are with the park. The scenery is amazing. The entrance fee is a good deal. And there's no high intensity rides that interest me is now our newest complaint. Unfortunately. Our newest complaint. 
All right, let's look at this too and make sure that we're making enough money on it. We could be asking for, I think, a little bit more. Um, well, nobody's saying that it's a great deal. Although 39 is high. Like, I feel like 350 is a good price, but I know I've had this ride before and I have been able to ask for more on it. So let's ask for at least 450. Let's see. I don't think people will turn away for that. Well, doesn't look like they will. Perfect. coaster is going really well. Oh, I like that it times itself where they're kind of near each other for a second there. Oh, we do get a little hang time here. Ready, guys? Here you go. And drop them down. Off they go. Perfect. All right, so now actually what we can do for this ride is slow down our chain lift speed since they're getting up there a little bit faster than this coaster is making it around this curve. We want it to be kind of a little bit more efficient. Oh, yay, we have an overall perk rating of 90%. That's good. So see how much closer we got there. And I don't think I caught it in time. So after this passes through here again, we might see another change. So it can go up even a little bit slower. Let's go down to four. All right, and we're not gonna worry about that anymore. I like that that is being popular. That's still being popular. Albeit we only have the four rides in the park, but people are having a good experience. We do seem to have quite a few tired people. Let's get a few more benches down over in this section here. I don't think we had anything right there. I don't really want to put one on the outside of that area. Um, I know you're here, Ash. I know you are. So we can probably build another large building like that one over here. Ah, hi, baby. Hello. And we do have a few other rides as well. So I feel like getting the Gravitron in just because it has increased popularity during the rain would be beneficial. We're going to elevate it up a little bit. And we'll move it another section here away from there. Let's see if we can find where our stairs are. There are stairs, so we're going to have a face this way. Get our entrance in here and our exit, maybe. Oh, I want to make sure, though, that people can really benefit from this. So this is going to make this ride super nauseating, and it doesn't matter which way you go. I'm pretty sure this is the kind that you lay on the sidewall, and it just throws you around. Um, we'll give it plenty of time to load up, because I think this one can hold a lot of people. Astro, are you chilly? Because mommy's chilly. Is you chilies? Are you chilly? I love you. Oh, that was the wrong kind of path to use. All right, here we go. Um, I'm gonna go like this here for that. And like that. I 
Actually, can we test this first? Let's get it tested first. Perfect, and now we'll let it go. Alright, people are gonna find this ride pretty nauseating. That is okay. And we're gonna mark that since that has a little long walk up to its exit and people don't know any better. We'll go ahead and block that off. And I think what we'll do for this building is um, we're gonna, we don't have to build the whole thing in, but we'll build the, we're gonna build something around this queue line right here at least. Um, maybe even divide it into like two buildings if we can. And then another building maybe like right here. Just to camouflage those parts in. And we can actually have it where you could walk underneath of this ride. I've never been in a park though where you walk under a ride except for a roller coaster. So let me know if you've had a different experience where you've actually walked under like a flat ride. Because um, I would be interested to hear about that. But I think for now that's going to be it. And let's see what our rating ends up being for this. Is it only a medium nausea rating? I'm surprised by that. Very surprised by that. Let's make sure we have a trash can really close to the entrance and exit of this ride. Because people might be throwing up as soon as they get off of it. I can't believe it only has a medium rating for that. Also, that is shocking. I'm just going to get down a few more things here and there. Right. I kind of like it. I like how this is starting to look. And this ends up not being like a high intensity ride, which actually is a little bit disappointing. I'm surprised that it's not a higher intensity. Um, I'm fine with it being low excitement. I think we can ask for like $3 on this though. We want $3. let us go $3.50. Let's see if we could get 350 on that. Let's see what people think of this. I can't afford the wooden coaster? My good sir, I have a money box. I do have a money box. And we could put another money box in somewhere down over here. Maybe even like right here. We could put in a money box. Um, a cash machine. I, I call it a money box. We'll put a cash machine in down here case people would like to be able to withdraw some more money because I'm a little surprised that somebody was in here and couldn't afford this coaster it being only six dollars doll hairs and I wonder if we could get eight dollars for this let's try it we'll see what people say and I actually want to do not a research an advertising campaign for it Yes, an attraction advert for three months, and can we afford radios? We can. Let's do it. Let's just do it. No questions asked. We're going to do it. All right, so we're going to fast forward. Well, we're going to play the game through on three just to see how many more people we get into the park who are just interested in that ride right there. Um, also, let's double check what is, how is the price of our park? Entrance fee is a good deal. Everybody really likes the entrance fee. So we're going to go up one more dollar because we've added another ride. One, two, three, four. Our new rides. The scenery is amazing. Okay, people are kind of thirsty. So I think that's actually a good opportunity then to say that we're going to add in another little food area, although I feel like here is a little bit close. So we might just put some false buildings here so that people can't directly see this ride. I kind of want to like, I like the idea of like isolating each ride so that as you're walking to it, 
maybe there's trees and stuff like that blocking these people's view from this right over here. Um, but that makes you be like, I'm in line for just this ride. Hi, Astro. I do think that this ride is a little bit more popular. It could just be because it's June. And I say that there's like th six people total on this ride right now. That's kind of sad. The merry-go-round is doing better than that. People really like the carousel. I'm so glad for that. Very glad. It might just be because it has a high decoration rating. That might be what's making that such a victory of a building there. Um, let's see here. I think it might be interesting to have it where there is a path that walks up here behind this building. So that you could like see up here behind this building kind of. Go that way, thank you. There we go. So then instead we'll go like this. Yeah. And we could have it where, like, maybe there's a big building around this that's just opened up to that section there. But we can work on that a little bit more in the next video here. Let's double check that our ride is getting a little more popular and that people are willing to pay for the wooden coaster at $8. They are still willing to pay. Let's go ahead and ask for $9 for this ride. I really like that I don't see a lot of people trying to exit necessarily. I'm really glad that everybody's enjoying their time here. Let's put down another trash can outside of here. Um, and I think also one more thing we're going to do before we end this is we're going to make a zone. So this can all be part of, like, the entry zone here. We'll include those, these, this, all here. And we'll assign all of these people to zone 1, which we'll eventually rename. But we're also going to take this person here and have them just empty trash bins. Just that, just that one guy his only job is going to be to empty trash bins for the time being. I don't super need a second hauler, but we'll hire him because we're gonna we're gonna need him for the next section, the next uh, time that we do stuff. Especially since people are saying they're really thirsty. I we might throw up a little shop area in here. Although I would like to make this an opportunity for people to walk in this direction and get to some more rides, because there's a ton of opportunity over here. Hi, Ash. That was Ash. Cutting the microphone. I'm so sorry. Um, but I do think that this is maybe a far enough area away from over here for us to put a few more things. And we did get burgers, so that's perfect as well. Oh, and we have pizza. Oh, let's throw down some pizza over here. There we go. Actually, also, I forgot we gotta grab this over here. <laughs> there we go. That's it. Alright, so we've got that. We've got this. Let's double check. Is our ad campaign for this ride over? It's got one more month left. I want to wait that out at least so let's try to make it to that we'll just talk about what we're gonna do we have to figure out something to do with this section we've got pizza so people should be happy with pizza we might need to expand this a little bit more i wonder if it would be a good idea to like put this over to here and expand it this way like this i guess we'll see in a bit in a 
next episode. Oh no, rights are breaking down. to wait out this one month that we need to see how well the little advertisement does for this guy, huh? Alright, but this could be more path this way and then we can maybe hide this queue here with a little building. Um, this queue we're already planning to hide so we can have like a little too wide path going here. We can have another little building over here and that can hide the uh, the, the depot. And that would be perfect for us to get in a few more shops. Um, let's see too if we can get this to be like, it's developing its next thing. Because I'd like to know what the next thing will be. Alright, we're in July, so our advert should be ending soon. If it didn't already. It looks really funny going really fast. Alright, so we're gonna get snow cones, that's fine. We're gonna switch it over to coasters for its next time that it does its research. We really do need to get somebody out here sweeping these paths better though. Um, so since we have the one guy on just emptying trash bins, we can actually change these two guys to not empty trash bins, potentially. And just focus on sweeping, like, sweeping paths a little bit better. Because this is a lot of vomit for this section. Is it just because of this ride? It is. It is just because of this ride. Alright, let's put down another... Oh, that wasn't that message I was waiting for. we hire another janitor? Here, we'll set him to do these two tasks then. And it claims he's just wandering around, so let's bring him here. He's taking a break. Okay, great. He's fresh, so let's go ahead and drop him in there too. But he's taking a break, so we'll let these guys get to work in here. This has a very wide footprint, but I guess I wasn't super worried about the space, the things. One more week left. Let's see. What do we get? What do they think they ended up with here? I mean, we're still making like 600 money. Which is good. It's nice to be positive. We can look closer at that, too. Okay. Our ride admissions are down so far, but I feel like we've just started this month, so... 81% effectiveness. That's really good, though. Oh my gosh, people... Like, 14 people just threw up in the same pile of vomit. That's disgusting. That was disgusting. Sir, if you could not wander around... Oh good, he's sweeping a dirty path. Come over here and sweep this path for me. Thank you. Alright, well, we're gonna end it there. For this episode finally i hope you guys are enjoying this little session of building up coasters and everything um and making this little theme park a cute little area i'm enjoying the practice at least because i don't think i'm very good at decorating um and I, so yes i need to get better anyway thank you so much for joining me and i will see you guys next time